everybody, I'm Tom Basil, and this is Week in Review. This is where we take a look at all the reviews we did over the past week and tell you some quick summaries of thoughts on them. And if you're interested, you can check the links for the full review and find out more. That's in the description of this video. Let's get started with Z Garcia. Hey, hey, everybody, Z Garcia here. So last week, here's what I was up to. We did a best of the month showing you the best new to us games. Check that out. I did a Talking Tower, the first episode of Talking Tower, in which we discussed house ruling and it, how we felt about house rules, uh, if we implemented them, if we thought it was, uh, you know, something that was uh, the designer's fault or really more of a pre personal preference and not up to them. Check that episode out and uh, give us some feedback, enjoy it as well. And then I did two reviews, Haunt the House, I rate this a 7 out of 10. It's a great family game, it leans a little young, but it's got fantastic components. You are the ghosts going after the ghost hunters. Very pretty game, I enjoyed it. And then I reviewed Solenia, I rate this a 9 out of 10. I really, really like this game. It's a resource management game in which you are going to be gathering goods and then uh, selling those goods to these floating islands. The game shifts from day to night in a floating airship. It's uh, simple, but I really liked it. So that is Solenia. And that's it for me. I'll see you next time. Hey folks, welcome back to another Week in Review. I did five videos this week. Two of them were, were regular reviews. One was for a game called Hexamonia. Uh, this is put out by Pendragon Game Studio, where uh, you are basically trying to build up your city-state in, in, in a uh, Greek setting, or a Greco-Roman setting, I guess would be a better way to put it. And uh, you're basically just trying to score the most points by uh, determining what kind of tiles you have in your city-state and how many of them. And your, your Acropolis will score differently than other people's so there's a lot of different things going on. Check out the review and you'll see what I'm talking about. I uh, gave it a 6 out of 10. Um, I enjoyed it, but it wasn't that good of a game for me to give it a higher rating. Also did a game called uh, Lindisfarne. Now this is a new Essen release that I was really looking forward to. Gave this one a 7 out of 10. You're basically uh, rolling dice and trying to collect different sets to score the most points at the end of the sixth uh, journey or uh, expedition or whatever they called it in the rule book. Uh, but it's a fun dice rolling game. Has a lot of neat decisions to make in it as well. Gave it a 7 out of 10 as I said earlier. Go check that out as well. Then we also did uh, two What's In There videos, again, for Village Attacks expansions. One was called Fear and Torment, and the other one is called Dread and Malice. Uh, so you can check those videos out uh, and see what you get in those expansions. See if you might want to pick it up if you own the base game. And then finally, I did a live Q&A this week. Uh, spent about an hour and 10, maybe 15 minutes uh, just sitting down and chatting and talking about different things. So you can check that out if that interests you at, at all. That's it for me. We'll see you guys and gals on the flip side. Take care. All right, so for me, first of all, I took a look at Downspin. I ranked this one a four because it's an interesting idea of turning these things, the, uh, the different gears and watching different discs slide down, but mechanically it doesn't work very well and it's also not a very fun game. Discover, oh, I gave this one a five. I'm really kind of disappointed with this one. It's so disappointing. The, the components are nice. It's a unique game that's kind of interesting, but the story's really weak. The randomness is really strong, and I don't like player elimination and semi-co-op parts of this game. There's just a lot of problems with the game. Seventh Continent does it better in every way. Games that I said gave a 6-2, we have Mesozoic. This is a game in which you're building a zoo. It's fun sliding things around. It's an interesting game. I don't think it's for everyone. Fletter Fuse. This is a letter game where you're throwing cards on the table and then trying to make a war with the cards. Interesting idea, nice quality components, rules are abysmal. Monopoly Gamer, this is basically Super Mario Kart, the board game. You drive around and shoot each other and get coins and stuff, that's kind of fun. Uh, it's nothing great, right? But and it's extremely lucky, but if you like Mario Kart, you might like it. Nyctophobia, I gave this one a seven. It's a very unique game and it needs to be played almost in a unique way where you're feeling around a board. Uh, you're gonna be blindfolded uh, with these glasses you can't see through and one person is hunting everyone down with an ax to kill them. Very, very kind of scary game, Nyctophobia. Dogpile, this is just a little puzzle style game with three dimensional pieces, I like it. I gave it eight to Blackout Hong Kong. This is a game about Hong Kong having a blackout and you trying to help people and get supplies around and stuff. It's a very Euro-y game. Uh, lots of things from Alexander Pfister. Great game, actually. The components hamper it slightly. I wish they were nicer looking. It's almost too black. But there's a lot of good mechanisms in the game. 
Combo Fighter. This is Street Fighter, the board game or card game. It's really fast. You play a card, blah, 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 play a bunch of combos. I really like it. I think it's better than most of the other games of this genre I've played. I, I took a second look, a final look at Keyforge. I played a whole lot of the decks. Take a look at the starter kit. I think this is still a very solid game. I think the unique system works really well with this kind of card game, and it's just very entertaining. And then an 8.5 I gave to Wildlands Unquiet Dead. This is a basically uh, an expansion for Wildlands, which is a fifth faction, which is a fun faction, but also you can play with when without it being a faction, just whenever characters get knocked out, they rise again. Really fun. Highly recommend it. And Raccoon Tycoon. Really cool game. Uh, fast, economic, stock market style game, but it's really fast. You take a turn. Boom, 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 boom. Take a turn. Boom, 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 boom. And there's interaction and lots of, you know, it's just a really cool game. I like it. Highly recommend it. We also did some top 10 more games in our top 100 games of all time. We did a live back talk talking about Essen games from 2017 and what we think about those games now. And uh, just all kinds of, we did a live playthrough of Extraordinary Adventures for Pirates. And so just check out all our videos that we did this past week. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell and you've been watching Look Back, I mean, or We Can Review on the Dice Tower.